Alright guys and welcome back to a new video. It is finally finished. I'm here in the game room. Um, I was actually going to upload a video about this room a while ago. Like an update. But I didn't. But I still have the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that clip in here so you guys can kind of see what this became and what this was a little bit. And then after we watch that, um, I will be back. And then, you know, we'll tour the game room. So this is gonna be a full game room tour. This is a really small room, so don't expect a lot out of this video to be like super long or anything like that. Um, we will talk about some other stuff in future videos. So I'll save some of that stuff for later. And you guys can watch this clip real quick and I will be right back. Alright guys, we're going to do a little update video of sorts. As you can see behind me, this place is a disaster. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is, over in this corner here, I don't know if I can back up enough to show you, but all along this wall, and all along this wall, I'm going to be building a desk out of some Ikea furniture and kitchen countertop, like laminate countertop. So it's going to have storage, um, it's going to be an L-shaped desk. I don't think I'm going to finish the L-shape right away because I need to buy like a couple more table legs, but I definitely will have like an 8-foot desk along this wall. So um, I'll show you guys some more videos of some stuff I've done, some pictures maybe. We'll do like a, a collection at the end and just wanted to give you guys a fun what's going on on the channel because there really hasn't been any videos so this is what I'm doing right now and I should be done within the next couple of days so then we'll be back to doing like some Minecraft and stuff and I'll have an all new setup and it'll be great so hopefully I see you guys soon all right I'm back here in the game room this is a current video as of August 15th so it's, this is when this video is being recorded. This is what the game room looks like. So I'll do kind of like a spin around here. Uh, you can see my green screen back there. It's where I record my YouTube videos. PC setup. Uh, there's another PC next to it. So there's also a PC right here, but it's kind of exempt right now. Um, I, it's downstairs, so I don't actually have it hooked up. But there's a PC. That sits right here. Uh, it's, just, it's just a laptop. So let's go ahead and get started with the game room tour. And we're going to start on the other side of the room. Not the PC side. Because I've had that done for a while. And uh, I want to focus on this other side. So we're going to flip the video. And now we got all of this over here. So you'll see like as in the previous clip that you saw. There was just a cabinet here. And there was like a bunch of crap just kind of piled up to the ceiling in the corner there. Uh, that's no longer a thing. I actually have a, a storage shelf here. I built this nice countertop. This is a custom desk I built out of Ikea kitchen countertop. This is like the cheap laminate stuff. It's called Black Mineral if you're interested in the design. Uh, I can do like a close up here so you can kind of see what it looks like. It all matches. Got this really awesome mouse pad that I got for Father's Day. It has all my kids and pets on it. Alright, so yeah. That's the countertop I use. And then I just use like the white Alex drawers. And then under this side, um, I just have like a double door cabinet. This isn't as heavy on this side. So uh, I have all the consoles up here. So far, it's what I have hooked up. Uh, unfortunately, the GameCube is not hooked up because the video wire went bad. So I have the GameCube with the Game Boy Player, the Wii, and then down here we have a Sega Genesis, uh, Halo Edition Xbox, that's actually pretty rare these days. Uh, and then we have my Nintendo Switch here in the BMO from Adventure Time. This is just a little Nintendo Switch holder if you want to play it in tabletop mode. Just makes it look cool. Looks like it's inside of a Game Boy. Uh, then we have the Hyperkin Retron SQ. 
which that is a console that plays Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games, and it upscales them to 720p on your TV. You can also do a 4x3 ratio or a 16x9. There's a switch on the back of it, so that's pretty cool. This here on the bottom, well, on the bottom of the top shelf, is just a giant switcher for switching different consoles that are hooked up. On top of that, we have the NVIDIA Shield Portable. These are pretty hard to find working these days. This one does work, but it's not charged. I'll open that up for you, though. Right next to it, we have the NVIDIA Shield TV. That's actually what's playing this video of me right now. Um, this is the 2015 model. This is not the Pro model. It's only the 16 gigabyte model. Um, this is my Switch dock with a little add-on on top that holds cartridges. And then we have the N64 here. That's actually hooked up and working. Uh, the NES, that's actually hooked up and working. And then we have another Xbox here. And this is the NVIDIA Shield tablet. So this is, I have all three of the NVIDIA Shield family devices. And then I just kind of had this battery bank here because I was charging the, uh, the Shield controller here, which looks a lot like the controller that uh you know for the shield portable I'll, I'll turn a little light on here on my flash because this will help light this up some so yeah um i have all these drawers here we'll kind of go through some of this this is all handhelds i have uh these special edition pokemon game boy colors this one's a pokemon center in new york one um, these two are just older ones and then there's a couple Game Boy Micros in there both of those work by the way um, it's hard to find these working anymore I'm not sure I think they're charged up yeah so you can see that that one works there's Pokemon what is that leaf green in there and then this one is the Famicom Edition one, the anniversary one. There's a Japanese 3DS, well two Japanese 3DSs back there, the white one and the teal one. Um, there's a Game Boy DMG, there's an original Nintendo DS. We got a purple Game Boy Color here. These are just face plates for the Game Boy Micro. And then there's a DS Lite and two Game Boy Advance SPs. And then we also have a DSi XL, a 3DS XL, that's a new model, that is actually a uh, Galaxy one. And then we have a new 3DS uh, non-XL, this is the Black Friday Mario Edition one. Um, there's also a Game Boy Advance SP, and there's also a fake, it's a Pal Kitty, <laughs> it's actually a fake Game Boy Advance SP. And then we have my... Special edition, um, I've put stickers on the back of it. This is the diamond and pearl, brilliant diamond and shiny pearl special edition switch light. This is a Digi Retro Boy, which is a fake Game Boy Advance that plays real Game Boy Advance cartridges. So that's pretty cool. This is a backlight modded Game Boy Pocket. I don't have batteries in it right now to show you. We'll probably do videos on some of this stuff later on. This is a backlight mod at Game Boy Advance. I don't think there's batteries in any of this stuff. I don't keep batteries in them just in case I forget. Um, there's like some loose NES games, loose N64 games and stuff in here. Um, you probably may have never even seen this before. Some people probably have. Uh, this is Grand Theft Auto London. It's based in 1969. I would say that's probably a pretty uncommon game. Most people haven't played that. Uh, this is just like controllers and just a bunch of accessories for game consoles. More controllers. And uh, so let's move on to the, the bookshelf here. So down here on the bottom shelf, I'm not really utilizing these bottom shelves. I'll probably have this cleaned up soon. These are just a bunch of figures and then like controllers and things like that for various systems 
The reason I don't have these shelves used is because I have a toddler and I like her to be able to come in this room. So I started my shelves up here where the strategy guides are. Anything you see below that isn't staying here. It's just kind of here right now because I've been working in here. So we've got all kinds of strategy guides. My uh, senior yearbook's actually down there. And then uh, there's some Street Fighter figures up here that I haven't hung up yet. I want to do something with these. Uh, these are all sealed. None of, none of them are open. And then there's more strategy guides over here. Mainly all Pokemon. And then we have uh, 3DS games. I have a lot more games than this. I don't have the shelf space. Um, this is a complete Guitar Hero for the DS. This is a collector edition Bakugan. It actually has like a figure in it. And then these are like the uh, the big box kind of like collector edition Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Altar of Sun and Moon, where you would get like the double packs and stuff like that. Or like these are ones that would come with pre order bonuses from like Toys R Us or Target or GameStop. Uh, there's also a boxed Brain Boy. If you guys don't know what that is, that's kind of like a Game Shark. But it's mainly for Pokemon games, but it also works as a memory card, so you can back up your Game Boy saves with it. So that's pretty cool. I actually have some loose ones of those too. Over in these bins right here, there's some stuff. Alright, next shelf we have um, all of my mini arcades, in which we have the Ninja Power Rangers playing over here. So that's pretty cool. We got a Pac-Man plushie where his feet hang over the edge of the shelf. And these miniature, miniature arcades that are like keychains, they actually work too. I just don't have them turned on right now. So we have uh, Galaga, Pac-Man. Uh, back here is actually a working, like, Atari 2600 console. Uh, it's never been opened though. And then, uh, so then we have Miss Pac-Man. This is a Donkey Kong Jr. This is a Coleco mini arcade from the 80s. These are getting harder and harder to find too. This was professionally refurbished. I got it really cheap from a guy that I do deals with at the swap meet. And then we have Burger Time. And we also have Dance Dance Revolution, which is not on right now. He's just pretending. And this little Pac-Man tin actually used to have candy in it. So up here we have a bunch of Atari 2600 games. I have some random like Tiger Power Ranger games up here because I didn't really have anywhere to put them at the time so I'm going to be moving those two. So yeah, these are all Atari 2600 games and the console. Several copies of uh, E.T. there. And yeah, that's pretty much that shelf. Nothing super exciting. And then up here we have my epic Pokemon display. So I have all kinds of Pokemon figures, Team Rocket, that Meowth actually talks, but it's in Japanese. A um, bunch of Legendaries, Mega Charizard X. These are the original, like, Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise uh, figures. Battle figures, they're pretty old. And then we have the trainers in the back, like Ash with the Pikachu, Misty with the Horsey, Brock with the Zubat, and they all rest, like, on their shoulders or backpack. Then we have the Ash Cap, Pikachus, a bunch more Legends, Giant Xerneas and Uvalto back there. There's also a Solgaleo and a Lunala. And up here we have um, just some of my box like Switch games and stuff, box N64 games, uh, mainly Pokemon stuff. This is my VGC 2013. Uh, trophy here. It's only the city trophy. I didn't advance beyond that. Um, this is a Game Boy printer. It actually has been open before. It's Japanese, but it does work. We played with it one time. This is a DSi or 3DS charger. It's actually missing a little white cradle that sits inside of the Pokeball. I'm trying to find one currently. Uh, we have a brand new box DSi XL back there. Rob the Robot for the NES, uh, a boxed old school like Power A Pokemon Platinum kit, and then over here we have some Mega Constructs like Pokeball things, I haven't built them yet, um, and then there's like 
some Gumby figures, if you guys know what those are. I had a lot of these as a kid, so have some collectible ones. So that's pretty much uh, all the stuff on that side of the room. This thing here just has like a bunch of PC parts and things like that in it. I work on PCs and refurbish PCs also. Don't mind the boxes here. I just bought these keyboards and stuff. So uh, haven't got to put those away yet. So in this bin, let me get this out real quick. In this bin, this is my DS stylus collection. I don't know if you've ever seen any of these, but there's some pretty obscure stylus in here. You probably won't see any of these other than this video. <laughs> I don't know. I could be wrong. They're pretty rare. I think I have almost all of them. Uh, we'll do a video on them maybe later. I'll actually get them all out. And then this here is just some loose Game Boy Advance stuff. I don't even know if that Game Shark works anymore. It actually hooks to a computer, surprisingly. Um, we got the wireless adapter for the GBA. And then there's an e-reader. That's the cartridge to the Digi Retro Boy that lets you put a SD card in it and play other games on it. This is an obscure thing for a Game Boy Advance. This is actually a radio. You plug it in your Link Trade port, and um, it, it still gives you the option to plug in a Link Cable. And you can plug in like headphones on the side here, and you can listen to the radio while you play your Game Boy Advance. Imagine how cool you'd be walking around with your giant headphones, playing the radio on your Game Boy instead of listening to like the Game Boy sounds. There's another wireless adapter. There's a bunch of loose games in here. Nothing super duper exciting. Probably not gonna like close this now because. And then we have here we have some Game Boy and Game Boy Color stuff that's loose. This is just like some random stuff that I don't really have anywhere to put currently. This is a sealed Monster Brain, and there's actually a really cool story about this piece. And I'm going to do a series on my channel where I talk about special pieces in my collection and the story behind them. And then we have the, the Pokemon, Pokemon Blue. And then this is a multi-cart thing that you can put games on. These are all my English Pokemon games. Pokemon Red. Um, then we have... Um, I think this is Pokemon Puzzle League, Japanese. We have Pokemon Trading Card Game in Japan. Um, this is the regular trading card game. Game Boy Camera. Another kind of rare item here we have is a Mega Memory Card. And there's a Code Breaker, a Brain Boy, and an actual another monster brain. This one is not sealed. This is what it looks like. You can kind of see through it. It's pretty cool. So these serve as memory cards. You can back up your your saves on your cartridges. If you need to change the batteries in them, you won't lose your progress on your on your games. So that's pretty much what I use those for. Uh, here we have a remote for the lighting in the room. I don't know how much it'll it'll change. So we have like RGB lighting in the room, so that's pretty cool. As you can see, uh, it's changing colors here. I think you can speed it up. Yeah, so you can make it like you can make it super super fast or super super slow. So like, yeah, we'll we'll just we'll just leave it on like that for a minute. <laughs> pretty cool so yeah we have this uh, space here we're starting to work on the PC area of the room now um, so there's usually a laptop here the kids play Minecraft and stuff up here with me um, this is actually my PC that I record you know videos on and stuff this is my setup I have a Fortnite chair here that I've had I got this like I think right as COVID started 
I was actually laid off from work for a while, so I was doing a lot of streaming and stuff. Um, yeah, so just have like a super basic keyboard here. This is a Samson Q2U mic, if anyone's curious. And these are just like some cheap Amazon ring lights. That's a Logitech C920 webcam. And then the mouse is a Logitech G602 wireless. This is just like a little personal air conditioner that I have here. Uh, you put ice and water in it and it blows cold mist on you. And I have a cup holder built into my desk that I just clamp on there basically. Um, so yeah, the specs of the PC, this is an Intel i9-9900K. Uh, it has 16 gigs of DDR4. There's like two, there's two M.2 NVMe drives. They're both Western Digital Blacks. 512 megabytes or 512 gigabytes each. Why did I say megabytes? Well, you can tell I'm old. Uh, then in the back panel, I have like two crucial drives also. I think those are both 512 gigabytes as well. So there's four drives in total. There's a dual 240 millimeter radiator in here. It's an all I want to on the CPU. Everything in here is RGB. Uh, NVIDIA GTX 1070 is what the GPU is. And then over here we have a, this is a replica, like a remake of the Commodore 64, called the C64. Now I do have working Commodore 64, so I actually have a Commodore 64 um, that works. Plus I have a Commodore 128, and I also have a Commodore Amiga 500, all of those work. So yeah, this is another one of the PCs that the kids play on usually. Um, we just play like modded Minecraft and stuff like that. This is a Core i5, I'm not sure the exact model, I know it's a third generation, so it's pretty old. And then the graphics card is like a GTX, a 9800 GTX Plus. Um, this is a Pokeball that's made out of glass that my fiance bought me some years ago. It has Mega Charizard X inside of it, and it's like a RGB thing, but the battery's dead currently. This is an old vintage, uh... Game Boy DMG case, you can put your Game Boy inside there and some games. And over here we have my Japanese Gen 1 through 3 Pokemon display that I have here. These uh, Lugia and Ho-Oh figures are collector figures from uh, the pre-order bonus from HeartGold and SoulSilver when they first come out. I also have like special Pokewalker sleeves and stuff. So yeah, we have... Uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald in the front here. Crystal, Silver, Gold. There's actually some American Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald back there. And then we have Pokemon Green, Pokemon Red, Yellow, and Blue. And these are all on special Pokemon stands that have the characters like etched into them. So those are pretty cool. If you're wondering where I got these from, I got these from a website called Rose Colored Gaming. They still sell them. This is another thing my fiance got me was this evolution thing. It's like a shadow box type of thing. It's pretty cool. Uh, this Premier Ball is something that I got on an auction. I'd like to collect more of these as time goes on. And uh, hope to get like all the ones I can. This is my green screen here. Uh, it's actually pretty big. It goes, I don't know, it's probably like five foot wide or so. And actually I have it to work if you see, I have like double hooks up here, so I got it to where I can like move it over like half a foot, and it just makes it cover this white part of the door if I'm sitting a little bit closer. Um, I actually have posters up back here that I need to take down and move, so there's, there's some posters here that are up. So this Power Ranger poster, I think we can probably turn the light off now. This Power Ranger poster, let me change this to, this was actually in my parents' attic for like 20, probably 20 years, and it's still wrapped, but there was like a hole in the wrapping in the back, but it survived like 120 plus degree heat and harsh winters for all those years, and it didn't damage it. And then here we have uh, the Nintendo Switch, light switch. We have the Minecraft Torch, which is one of my favorite things. Uh, <laughs> pretty cool. 
And then my fiance actually just recently got me the signs too up here. This Nintendo and this Sega logo. I just hung these up the other day. This Mario Kart canvas is just a placeholder. It's not going to be staying there. We're actually going to get more game logo signs and hang them below these. And this is yet another Power Ranger poster that was in my parents' attic. Um, it also survived the same amount of wear and tear as the one mentioned before. And to beat it all, it even survived me taking apart the frame to clean the back side of the glass because there were spots on the glass. So, like, it didn't even fall apart from it being so brittle, from being stored for all those years. Uh, just kind of like some random cleaning stuff and a coin dish. <laughs> These guys, um, I won these at a theme park. These are actually some of the things that you see in this game called the coin game. Some of you guys are familiar with that. If you guys have seen me play it on Twitch. There, I know there's some guys that are that are here from Twitch. So uh, yeah, those are like actual prizes in the game. And I, I was like shocked when I saw those. I had to win them. I had to win them. It didn't cost me that much. Um, I forgot to mention this little piece here. This is actually my, this is a toy of my actual Minecraft skin. Like the one that I wear in the game. And if you're curious how to get these made, there's a website called Ender Toys. And they, you can put any skin on a Minecraft figure. So like you can put any Minecraft skin on a figure. And you can make it become a toy. So yeah, um, there's also uh, another GameCube down here. The Wii U. I guess I didn't mention these. Uh, this is a Wii U Deluxe, actually. And then there's a PS4 down here, which really doesn't get played much. Because of online subscriptions and all that stuff. I can play mostly PC games for free, so... So yeah, uh... I think that's pretty much it for the room tour. This is what I've been working on for all these months. And this is pretty much why I haven't been uploading videos as much as I used to. Like, within the last month and a half or so. So now we're going to get back to uploading. And now we got even more stuff that we can hook up and play and stream and record. So be looking out for some console let's plays where we can do real hardware i have things to hook that up i'm um, actually going to get back in, into speed running too so we're going to do some speed running i don't know of what yet i do want to do castlevania castlevania bloodlines to be specific for the sega genesis that's one of the games that's been on my speed running list for a very long time so yeah that's the game room tour of 2022. I don't know how much this room will change besides like some posters and stuff. This is actually a very small room. It's like a closet basically that someone, it looks like someone made it bigger than what it was. Cause I was looking at the floor plans of the house and the room looks smaller on the floor plan. So I think someone extended it over the staircase. Cause below me, a little bit in front of where I'm standing is the staircase that goes downstairs. I'm actually upstairs. And you can see that the, the ceiling is curved because we're up by the roof. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's all for today's video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this room tour. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Definitely leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the game room. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. And just anything you want to talk about. If you see something in the background that you want to ask me about, feel free. Uh, I might answer the question or I might tell you it's for a future video, but we will make some videos on some of this stuff So again, that's gonna be it for today guys, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace